we had um, some pretty high expectations, I think, for the Jet uh, from ourselves who knew what it could do. Um, but we heard from other, fr you know, other friends who did fly their jets uh, what their expectations were. I think we were able to meet and exceed those expectations. One of the guys I get to know here uh, flies Euro fighters, and so we just got done talking about you know each of our jets and the fact that we got to fly these last three weeks together. And he told me that his expectation he didn't know what to expect out of the F-35 when he first came here. Um, and so after the week one, he started realizing how much uh, we could do. And by week two, once he started seeing how many Sam takedowns and going deep, uh, as he called it downtown into the Mez, uh, and be able to take those threats out. Um, he realized how much this jet can do. So I think across the uh, across the Air Force and across um, you know, our global partners, we've been able to show that uh, this jet really can do a lot of things that we've said it can do. So some of the advantages that we bring uh, in survivability and interoperability with other fighters uh, in this battle space uh, include the sensor fusion. So a sensor fusion is a buzzword, but it's a real thing. Um, the jet uh, is able to see and uh, use a lot of sensors on, on board and off board uh, to put together a pretty incredible threat laydown. The situational awareness that it provides to the pilot is, uh, is absolutely incredible. And uh, being able to use that helps us survive, but also helps others survive. Um, so we're able to uh, find those threats. We're able to pass those threats to other Fortune assets. And uh, oftentimes we're able to work with them to target, um, especially SAM systems on the ground where the, we're able to use their bombs, uh, help them be more survivable and us be able to use our low observability, our stealth uh, technology and, uh, and get in there closer to get those um, kind of threat, that threat lay down. We're working here at Red Flag with uh, our global partners, um, the Australians and the, uh, the Brits, some of our closest uh, allies. Uh, with the F-35, I think we've been able to show them that uh, all of our forces can work together to be more lethal uh, against uh, other threats around the world. Flying in this red flag with this jet has built a lot of confidence. Uh, I think in all of us, but especially uh, myself, I feel like this jet is, is much more survivable, but it's very lethal. Uh, so the fact that we can go deep into the mez uh, and, uh, and be able to take out those targets and then to be able to get out of there and then uh, populate more targets for our fortune assets while we're providing support for them is what makes this thing so uh, such an incredible aircraft and so uh, so vital to our current air force. This jet's incredible to fly. It's a great jet. It's a fighter. Uh, there's been a lot of I think misperceptions about the fact uh, of what it can do. Um, as we continue to push the envelope and, and open up uh, some restrictions on it, um, we're seeing more and more of the capabilities develop. And as we continue to develop more uh, and better tactics, uh, more suited to the aircraft, uh, I think we're learning how much it can do. Up to this point, we've really been limited by the fact um, that we're still testing so many things out. And so we're still been, we've been learning what the aircraft uh, is good at and what it's not good at. You know, we're passing that data back and, uh, and we're getting a better jet for it. Going forward with new threats and looking forward to future uh, possible wars, um, this is the jet we need to be, we need to be uh, talking about.
Too short. 